Hello everyone and thanks for tuning in to the Financial Investor channel. My name is Brent and today we're going to be taking a look at a uh, IPO that's going to be going public here on Wednesday. Well, it's estimated to be released on Wednesday. So an IPO uh, that's being released, it's currently a private company, but because of the IPO and it's being, being uh, released, it's going to become a publicly traded on the stock exchange. So once a company is in public, it is owned by the shareholders who purchase the company stock when it is put on the market. So right now, um, those who currently have stock in it are those, that, you know, the CEOs, the ones who had uh, or family and who originally work with the company. And for many investors, so right now they're putting their current price at between 20 and 21 is their estimated uh, exchange for their stock value. And I couldn't find, I don't know how they reference how much a stock is going to be sold. And there's no real exposure. They kind of, it's a process that takes prior to the release of the IPO. And I don't think anybody really knows how a company gets valued at a particular share price. So. I think this is a bit too high and we'll go into that here in just a minute. So I took a look at their stock. So I went Granite Point and just looked them up on Nasdaq.com because that's where I go to get quite a bit of my information on different dividend stocks and just general stocks. So as we take a look at their website here on uh, Nasdaq, I'll have this website in the description below. We see that their share price again is going to be between $20 to $21. They're going to be offering 10,000 shares, and they have the offer amount, their expenses, and their shares over allotted. So if they go over their shares, so they have 10 million shares right now, but they can go 1.5 million over their allotted shares. And down below here, they have a full description of their company here. So I was reading through here earlier, and some of the key points here are that is... They were formed and continue to expand the commercial real estate lending business established by Two Harbors Investment Corp. So that's where I pulled up this information here, Two Harbors Investment Corp. This was started in 2007, and I think it started around like 8 to $10, or maybe even less than that. I think you actually have it here. So back in 2007, it started around $9 publicly. <laughs> um, so let's go back to here. So Two Harbors Investment Corp. And you can see the Investment Corp has actually gone up pretty well since the release. But right now, even in June 2017, it's about a 10.47. And they do offer a 10% dividend. So that might be where they're putting some of their money back, or they're uh, paying, paying their money out to investors. So this one being released at 20, if they're not paying a 10% dividend, or any dividend they might actually hit that share price maybe who knows but um so it then went into what their current portfolio consists of so they go down and it is right in here so their initial in portfolio consists of their predecessors uh, predecessors portfolio that as of March 20 uh, 31st 2017 is 41 commercial real estate debt investments with a balance of 1.6 billion with an additional 1.1 uh, 181.9 million potential future funding obligations so they have 106 1.6 billion right now in principal balance of investments and that investments are earning uh, interest and they have an additional 181.9 million of potential future funding obligations. So that means they have loans lined up right now as of March. So these both of these numbers have probably increased since then. And their initial portfolio also consists of five additional floating rate senior commercial mortgage loans. So with a principal balance of approximately 177 million with an additional 50 million of potential future funding obligations. So again, more loans. They have loans right now with 177 million and they have an additional 50 million of future funding obligations. So um, they're, they're probably looking at the market and they have that room to grow um, handing out loans. And then this is all of March 31st, 2017, of course, when they become public. We'll have some more information on what their current portfolio consists of and uh, it'll be contributed to their initial portfolio. So let's see, we covered the who they are, what they have, 
what else can we cover here? Um, they don't have a lot of financial information. If you click on financial and feelings, they do have a little bit here. They have their revenue is about 23 million. Their net income is 13 million. They have 1.6 billion in total assets, so that's great. Their total liabilities is only 1.1 billion, so their liabilities are lower than their actual assets. Uh, and their stockholders' equity, equity, is uh, 441 million. They don't have any company financials right now that's public. It's all kind of private. There's nothing there. So nothing on their balance sheet to really look at or their cash flow or their financials. So let's go back to their information here. They have appeared in the headlines four times. Um, I have Seeking Alpha. So there were, there were one stock that I had seen in the past that I kind of read their article on it. And um, I have a couple REITs myself. So I think I don't know if I'll be joining in on this IPO. Um, seems kind of expensive being at 20 or $21, especially for um, something being released that's part of the Two Harbors. And Two Harbors was released about, you know, 8 or $9, and that's at $10 now. So I think there are other ways out there. I think I'll wait once it's released to take a look at what happens to it, you know, just like Snapchat. That's not really a good comparison because Snapchat's a tech stock and this is a you know um, a loan and REIT stock where they have a lot of commercial properties so I think this one may be valued more around you know that 10 to 15 range maybe 15 because if they don't have any dividends um, right now their initial push will be to be earning and uh, earning earnings so they want to start earning some revenue before they probably want to hand out some dividends to their investors. So I guess time will tell. So that is it. If you guys are wanting to check out uh, this ticker symbol, it is uh, Golf Papa Mike Tango. So G P M T, and this Nasdaq link will be in the description below. Thanks for watching. If you plan on buying the stock, go ahead and leave a comment below with um, your opinion on if it's a good buy or a bad buy. And again, thanks for tuning into this channel. We will be focused on setting ourselves financially for the future and ways to beat inflation and become a financial investor. If you enjoyed the video, please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.